，就累，就累，就累。Tomokazu Harimoto. When he was 11 years old, he defeated world number 43 and world number 71 in the same international tournament. Youngest ever winner of the boys' singles title at the World Junior Championships at 13 years old. Think about that. There are even 18-year-olds playing that. He won it at 13. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most important match in the history of table tennis. 13-year-old sensation Tomokazu Hadimoto playing against the human pineapple. I mean, Adam Bobro. Warm up here, getting a little bit out of control. Oh, good. A little bit of practice in the counter loop rally here. Very unusual, not so professional technique. From the man with the unicorn horn, as he calls that hairdo. Again, for me, more of a pineapple, but I get what he's going for. Exhibition-style warm-up, backhands. Now they're just feeling out each other's games. And as in all professional tournaments, how they determine serve rock paper scissors? No, scissors not as strong as rock. But Adam Bobro chooses to receive one game to eleven. You heard it. Here we go. Love to all. Most classic trick in table tennis around the world. Everything in this point completely legal. Players will continue to hit the same side of the table as they were initially supposed to. 100% legal. They crossed the 180. The toughest part. And a 360. They've circled it. What a finish! What a way to put on a show. 13-year-old sensation Tomokazu Hadimoto. Tomokazu Hadimoto. The youngest ever winner of an ITTF World Tour men's singles title, he beat Timo Boll in the final of the 2017 Czech Open. At 14 years old, by the way, at the age of 14, he also became the national champion of Japan. That's also the youngest ever, and that's Japan. Think about who else is competing there. Consistently, one of the top three table tennis nations in the world. Youngest ever winner of an ITTF World Tour Grand Finals men's singles title. At 15 years old, he's already a Youth Olympic Games and Men's World Cup silver medalist in singles. When I heard that there was an 11-year-old who defeated two men in the top 100 in the world, I had to meet him. Tomokazu Hadimoto has never ceased to amaze me. And I can't believe it's been almost five years that I've been seeing him regularly on the world tour, and had the pleasure to hang out and enjoy his company. A super nice guy, and very generous to take the time to play with me. I'm very excited to see what the future holds. The sky's the limit, and no doubt there is a very bright future ahead for the spectators. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, well, 
why not subscribe? I can think of a few reasons, but I can think of a lot more good reasons to subscribe. Hope to have you subscribe, and I look forward to making more fun videos for you. Until then, keep on ponging. Peace.